Well, I decided to make an impromptu video because as you can see, this aquarium, which I will take the credit for growing this algae just for this experiment. Um, and if you believe that, I have some property to sell you, a beachfront somewhere in uh, North Dakota. Anyway, so here we got this good, hard, green algae, the hard spotty stuff that lots of you are familiar with. Occurs in both fresh and salt water tanks. This just happens to be um, my freshwater aquarium that uh, somehow when I get home I don't feel like cleaning. But this morning I decided to clean it and in the process of cleaning it I brought in all my favorite tools uh, and I was meeting disappointment after disappointment. Um, so uh, when I finally started to get shit working, I thought I would just make a quick video. So here we have the three contestants. I have the Mag Float Large, Extra XL Large. I have the Mag Float Large Size with the Algae Free Razor attachment on it. And you'll see this one has the, the factory supplied um, razor attachment. It's not really a razor, it's just more like a bladed edge. And then uh, on the top, I have the flipper, which also comes with a pre-installed um, metal edge. Now, to be fair, I will say that, well, maybe, it's, maybe I'm not being unfair here because the regular flipper right here is rated for up to half inch glass and this tank is half inch glass, okay? The large mag float is rated, I believe, up to half inch as well. The big boy here, I'm pretty sure, is somewhere around the three-quarter inch um, glass thickness. All right. Again, the flipper and the large mag float both come with pre-installed metal edges. The algae-free razor attachment is super glued to the back of this. And I keep all three of these in our, uh, in our maintenance bag because they all have an application on different tanks. I was just really surprised at the results that I got here because I basically went right to the machine thinking I have a mess and I'm gonna get on it. Well, here we go. Here's my mess. Let's get on it. Hmm, let's get you close up here. It's not really doing anything. It's pretty much gliding right over the top. Let's see what the flipper with the pre-installed does. Now, the flipper brand does have a larger one. And I can just tell from moving that that this is absolutely not the correct size for this glass thickness. Uh, I don't care what they say. You have to go up to their bigger size if you've got half inch or bigger, no doubt. And as you can see, we're really not having any effect here at all. I actually feel like the magnet's gonna separate and the other side is gonna come drop into the inside. All right. But again, they do make a bigger one and I don't have that here with me today. Now I'm gonna to go to the one that we have been using the longest and that is the mag float with the good old fashioned slice your finger open razor blade on the end. So there is a danger factor here. Uh oh, what's this? What is going on here? Is that? Is that clean? You can you can see that we're we're just taking this algae right off. So I think I've shown here that the good old fashioned brand new razor blade does a hell of a job. Right? The downfalls of that uh you have to replace them regularly. You can even see some rusting going on. Um, the rust is not on that razor. The rust is on the plastic where I've let it sit in the tank for too long or sit with moisture on it and it begins to oxidize onto the plastic. The razor blade has two sides. When one side gets too gnarly, I can just flip it around and get to the other side. So, I mean, if you took care of it, those razor blades would probably last longer than they last for us. But uh, over and over again, going with just the large mag float with the razor blade attachment on glass only, not to be used on acrylic people, is absolutely the cat's meow when it comes to taking off nasty algae. These other boys, they have a purpose. 
and I use them a lot, but uh, their specialty is not in the area of taking off nasty algae or coralline algae. Coralline algae would just sweep right off with this as well. I don't have a tank here to show you, but... Oh yeah, there's something about scraping this off. That's kind of like why I like to let it grow really bad is because there's something really cool about removing it like this. That's also bullshit. I just don't feel like doing it when I come home. All right, well this is Gerwin out. You guys have a great day and stay on top of your algae so you don't have to buy specialty equipment to get it off.